Hello everyone. Good morning. It is a cold, wet, and dreary day here, but I thought I would take you guys today to show you the barn, the horses, and my little morning routine. I'm going to feed the horses right now and show you guys what I do with them. I would say long time, no video, but you guys know that. So <laughs> we're just gonna jump right into today's video because I have lots that I want to show you guys that I wanna talk about. First things first. If I can do this with one hand, probably not. Look at that, success. Good morning, girls. Hi, honey. Hi, Millie. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go get your food. Come on. It's been raining. Here's their dry lot, the big one. It's been raining, and so it is all mud. We gotta check their hay bags. That's the first thing I do, look at their hay. They obviously emptied them last night, so we'll need to refill that. We've got a couple piles of poopy here. We gotta muck that. Rain, mud, full water trough. Nice. And then we did not stall them last night um, in the barn, which we're gonna talk about today. Um, it's kind of like a routine day video and also a kind of a barn tour because we renovated our barn. The video is gonna look very different in here. Look, wonderful things to come to show you, but the horses want their food, so we gotta do that first. All right, Millie, come on. Come on. girls are eating. I leave their stalls open, but they eat separately because they steal each other's food. And we don't want that. Here's Millie girl in her stall. And then here's Honey in her stall. You can see really good there. We got a pile of poopy here we gotta get up. So while they're eating, I'm gonna muck a little bit because I got a little bit of poop inside the stalls. Not a lot at all, but we gotta get it up. All right, I just mucked. The horses have finished eating. They're outside now in this very muddy, muddy, muddy area. Um, so now I've got to get them hay in their bags. So we just finished our morning chores. Um, well, I was gonna sit here and film the rest of this video with the barn in the background because that's what the video is about, but the horses are eating their hay. And so maybe you guys would like to watch them in the background more than just the, the empty barn. So let me turn the camera around. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare from this, well, lack of sun, but so you can see the horses eating their morning hay. I just finished mucking and giving them their hay. They already had water. And yeah, that's pretty much my morning chores. They also got their feed. Um, I give them Enrich, which is like a low sugar um, hay fortifier because they are mainly on high quality hay. Um, and then we don't do anything else with their feed until we see them dropping weight in winter time. However, winter has only been here for two months and they are keeping up weight great. We haven't even had to blanket them yet. The lowest night we had was about 27 uh, degrees Fahrenheit here in Tennessee. So they're holding weight great. So the Enrich is working well. Usually by like February into March, we see the most weight loss, especially on Honey. She doesn't keep weight good in the winter time. Um, however, I got them new jackets this year and they're really, really thick and really plush. And also, 
the barn, which we're going to talk about right now. So as you guys could see from the beginning clips of this video, during my routine, we did renovate the barn. And by we, I mean my wonderful husband, Patrick. As you guys know, six months ago, I did have my baby. Um, I know that it has been a while since you guys have seen me, but I'm not going to dwell on that fact. We're moving right along. Um, but I have been gone because I am a stay at home mom. And so my baby does take up uh, all of my time and I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I've been really busy with him. Um, we named him Milo and he is six months old now. So he is at that age where he's getting really interactive. He's getting a little bit more mobile. He can roll on the floor and it's so fun. It's just wonderful. Um, I won't be showing him on my channel, um, at least not right now or regularly. Maybe you guys will see him one day, um, perhaps probably in the background or something, especially when he is a lot more mobile because I am going to be filming in the house. There are some videos I really want to film in there. So you may end up seeing him in the background or something. Post Postpartum was really busy, so that's where I've been pretty much, and that really sums up where I've been. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, but it is so wonderful to be out here and filming with you guys. I told Patrick, I was like, I really want to film a video. He's six months now. You know, I think I'm ready to get back at it. And Patrick was like, awesome. Absolutely. So, so last year, Patrick and I sat out on a really big project that we wanted to have done by winter. And I'm so grateful to Patrick that we were able to achieve that. He sat out on the barn renovation. Um, it's something that I wanted to do pretty much since we bought the property three years ago. You guys know I have two horses. I have Millie and I have Honey. Honey was my first horse. She is about eight or she's probably eight or nine years old now. Um, when I got her, they said she was seven. She looks a lot older to me, but her teeth say seven, eight. So I think she's about eight or nine. Um, she is basically just uh, the sweetest little horse in the world. You guys are very familiar with her. I have many videos on her on my channel from last year. And then I got Millie. Um, Millie is very young, very spunky. She's about six or seven. And so obviously when you have two horses and you have moderately cold winters, um, we do get down in below the teens um, and in the negatives. Last year we had a really brutal winter, specifically one week where we did drop below um, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which is incredibly cold for Tennessee. We're Southerners down here. We are not used to the extremely, extremely cold winter weather. We're used to 30s and 20s, you know, things like that. But when it dropped to the teens below and the negatives, it was really brutal. Obviously a year ago when it dropped down, I didn't have Millie, I did have Honey. It was really brutal. She lost a lot of weight even though we had her jacketed. It was like a brutal winter. So this year I had sat out to, or this winter, which was last year, it's January. So it's really confusing talking about the new year, but happy new year, everyone. But basically I sat out for this winter. So starting last year, I wanted to have the barn completely renovated and completely done so that they would have a clean dust free, keyword dust free rubber matted floor barn um, to go into the new year and winter I mentioned on my channel before but just to give you a summary honey does have heaves aka it's like a horse asthma or a horse uh, COPD basically I've talked about it before she had it before I got her and she gets really bad barn cough where basically she just um, she'll cough when she eats which is the only time she coughs but if you do keep her stalled in a dusty area Many horses get this. Um, they don't know if it's genetic or if it's environment. It is mostly environmental. It can also be irritated by pollens and heat and all these types of things. But we had her on so many supplements. Her vet was out here this summer, last summer, that last summer um, of 2023 was brutal. There was probably about eight weeks where it was just really rough on her. Um, we had her, that's actually a big reason why we actually opened up another grass pasture for them. And she got a lot better on grass. We're constantly changing things for the horses, especially Honey. Um, she's really temperamental with her little breathing. Um, she's doing so perfect, so beautiful, amazing right now, as you can see. But all that to say, uh, we really needed to renovate the barn because if you guys remember, um, I have clips on my channel, but you've seen me film in here. My barn was dirt bottom, dirt floor, and all wooden and in incredibly closed in. All the walls like going down one side of the barn were completely closed in with wood. Um, the previous owners just the previous owners. I don't know what they were doing, um, <laughs> but um, that's, I'll leave it at that. It was just a wreck. The barn was a wreck <laughs> whenever we got it. So ripping everything out and basically starting over is exactly what we did. And when I say rip everything out, I mean, look at this. All of that wood right there is barn remnants. Like we ripped all of that out. Guys, that was the stall walls and the wall walls, the stall walls, the door walls, everything. We just ripped it all out. Patrick ripped it all out. I will give him credit 
He did all the work. I was inside with a little baby <laughs> while he did all this and it was brutal. It was a lot. Yes, it was a huge undertaking. It just, it really was. It took him a long time. It took months. It was labor intensive, but the barn turned out so beautiful. So the first thing we had to do, obviously, like I said, was rip out all the walls and um, I have some footage of what it looked like before. And then after he ripped out all of the walls, but after he ripped out all of the walls, that was great. We now have open air, less dust and less, less walls for dust to cling to. That's a really big thing because the walls were just covered in, you know, dust and cobwebs and just debris. It was just a big old mess of debris. So once we ripped all of that out, then he had to level the floors. So we did bring in a truckload or two of dirt and he actually brought the dirt into the barn and then he had to tamp it down. So basically he had to rent this giant machine called a tamper and he came in and he tamped the dirt down in the entire barn area to make it all completely level and flat because we needed to then bring in our mats. So we actually bought our mats on sale um, on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving from TSC. And that was wonderful. We got such a good deal on the mats and we tamped the floor and then we got the stall mats um, and that was wonderful. Once he put the mats in, they looked so good. It was amazing. Um, he tamped it so well. Obviously, there were a few little lumpy imperfections, um, but honestly, in order for this barn to be 100% perfect, we would have to tear it down and like rebuild. It looks kind of, I guess, maybe small, but it actually was a huge undertaking for Patrick to do by himself. So also, once he ripped down all of those dirty, disgusting, ill-placed walls, <laughs> we actually replaced two of the walls and made the barn a little bit smaller. The barn is the same size, but we made where the horses stay smaller and kind of closed it in so it could be a controlled environment in terms of temperature, cleanliness, and dust. So Patrick put this wall right here. This was open before and it was just uh, stalls. Like there were stalls with these cattle gates basically. And so this was low and it was just cattle gate walls with dirty like plywood walls behind it. And I know this is plywood, but this is new plywood that's clean. And he actually put this black uh, paper up right here as an added barrier, not up front right here, because this gets really dirty with the poo buckets. This is where we muck. So he didn't put it here, but we actually insulated with this black roofers paper, basically. All of these mats in the aisle, we decided to rubber mat the aisle for now. We wanted it to gravel, but we were afraid that gravel would be dusty. We don't know. Never done it. <laughs> so we, we were scared. I was scared. So we didn't do the gravel. We decided to do rubber mats in the aisle and it's working out. They're not new rubber mats. They are the old mats that we had in the barn before the renovation. So we just put all the old mats here since the horses aren't going to be standing on that. And then we bought brand new mats for the stalls. We got, I don't even know how many we ordered. I think it was like 13 or 12 or 13 mats or something like that for the stall. But, um, so the stalls have brand new mats and it worked out great. As you can see, this wall is what Patrick built. And then this wall right here that goes up to the peak, this wall is superficial. It is actually like a fake wall that Patrick actually put here. He, it was a wall that was in the back of our barn before and he moved it forward. He tore the whole wall down and rebuilt it. So the reason he did that, I'm gonna show you guys. So there is a handle here. Patrick is so, so smart, <laughs> but there's a handle here. So you open this, it's the old door that was in the back of the barn and it opens up to the rest of the barn, which is a dirty, dusty, janky mess. And so we don't go back there. Just kidding, we do. We do because this is where the tractor is stalled. Their jackets and tacker right here. This is junk. All of this is not our stuff. This was what was left here. I mean, it's our stuff, but it's the previous owner's mess. And this is all more barn. Um, eventually it's gonna be opened. And this little, it's a long story. This is all temporary. Here we have the hay loft area, which is not a loft. It's just a hay birthing stall. And we just stored the hay in there. And then we opened it up to where you can see here. Here's the hay on pallets. It's not on the ground. And then if you look this way, that is the fake wall right here. And then this is all those other stalls that we were using last year. So you can see, um, this is more stalls that with the walls torn out. So it's just open, empty barn space. This is the exterior wall to the far side of the barn where the pond is. And then this is the wall that Patrick built. So he built this whole wall right here and then it curves that way and that forms the new barn where the horses are. So there, it's very double insulated. Like essentially they're gonna be so much warmer, if that makes sense. They're gonna be so much warmer because we built a barn inside of our barn, <laughs> basically. So our barn 
is massive. And I don't say that in a braggy way. It's, it's actually a, it's a huge undertaking, to be honest. Our barn is really, really big and we just didn't need that for two minis. So this is, was our solution. Then came after the, he did these walls, then it was time for the stalls, which I have lots of footage of. He did repurpose the cattle gates because they do work as doors. So we didn't feel like rebuilding all of that. Because again, a lot of this is temporary. We have a lot bigger goals to do with this barn. Um, but we were in a pinch. We were in a hurry. We had a newborn. Um, obviously, he only had a limited amount of months that he could work on this. Um, and that means literal hours in a day. Here are the stalls. You can see really, really well. Um, so this is the bedding that we have in the stalls and I'll show you. It's obviously been in here for about six weeks. They've been on this already, but they're only in here when it's below 30 degrees. Basically this is pelleted bedding. Um, if you can actually, you can still see the mats a little bit under there cause they're not perfectly flat because of the way the, the barn size is. It's not even, so the mats aren't even. It's, it's just, it's, it's fine. It is what it is. Um, like I said, it's not perfect. We just put the pelleted bedding on top of the mats and it's, it cr crushes down really great and it crushes almost into a powder, but it is not dusty. It's heavy, so it's not dusty. It's really great. It doesn't have any type of a bad smell or anything, and then we just replace it every few months. I would say at this rate, because they're only in here, at the moment, they've only been in here like maybe a week, like seven days in a row total, I would say, because we've only had one week of below 30 temperatures, um, and it's January, so that will increase. And as they use it, obviously, we will have to dig out all this bedding and then replace it with new bags of pelleted bedding. And that's not a big deal. All of this was on this side and um, they were staying in two stalls on this side before, but they were like dirty, dusty, janky, unhealthy stalls. And so now honey's breathing perfectly and the stalls are clean. Like this is clean, <laughs> even though there's like hay and you know, stuff in the aisleway, it's mostly hay. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to let you guys see me and the horses at the same time, so you have something to watch and focus on because they're so cute. We do have plans to expand this year when the weather's not cold because we're not doing anything out here in the cold. It's just miserable. We've got to haul this wood off. Um, we do plan on pressure washing this aisleway, but if we pressure wash it right now, we are having like freezing nights where we've had their water trough freeze already for like multiple nights. It's just a little too cold to pressure wash inside. We do intend on opening up this wall that I showed you guys that's in front of me, um, this wall right here. So we're actually going to tear down this wall, the temporary wall that Patrick built, and I'm gonna open up the two stalls that are behind it and then we're gonna renovate, bring in dirt, tamp it down and do just like we did over here. So I'm hoping those two stalls will look just like these two because uh, my ultimate goal is to have four um, workable, usable stalls. That is my goal uh, in the end of all of this because I obviously want more horses, no doubt in my mind. I want more horses. I love my horses very much. I love my horses. I love horses. I've wanted them for so long and now that I have them, it's just, it's a dream. Like, it's just my dream. I love them. Um, they just make me so happy. They calm me. Um, I see why they're therapeutic. They really are. Like, they're just wonderful. I love them. So, of course, I want more. So, I want four working stalls. That is the goal. And if we do that, when we do that, I will definitely film that for you guys like I did for this video over time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved filming it for you. I've missed you guys. Hope you guys are doing wonderful in the new year. Um, I am sorry I've been gone, but I'm a mama, so I've been busy. Um, but I am back and I am hoping to film more videos for you guys. Just be patient, hang in there. If you're still hanging around, I really appreciate it. That's wonderful. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to leave me any comments down below. If you guys have any video suggestions or video requests or anything, or if you just have any questions about any of my other pets, just leave them down in the comments. I usually respond to them um, as quickly as I can. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.